everyone. Welcome back to the Diabetic Diet Show. This is bacon fried cabbage, side dish, and it's show number 21. Let's start out by getting the pan hot. I'm going to be using uh, canola oil today. And just a splash. This has a kind of a big mouth on it. It puts out a lot of oil, which is probably good. Now, I've already cooked up the bacon, and I like to cook that in the oven. I have videos on that. I can put the link in the show notes, which reminds me, hit the subscribe button. And if you'd like to answer our question of the day, I want to know if you like bacon. If you like bacon, hit the thumbs up button. Let's see, how many people like bacon? So, my other ingredients is brown sugar and cabbage and an onion and you could use a red or a yellow onion now because we're using the brown sugar this is not going to be your best keto diet or probably necessarily best for you if you're a diabetic but if you have other people that are not diabetics or you have friends coming over or family coming over that's not diabetic and you want to cook something that's good this is really good so Let's go ahead and start with cutting some things up. So today I'm going to use my wide blade knife. And I cut the cabbage in half already to show you. The second thing that I do is I cut out this part right here. And it's pretty easy to do. You just cut a V and just get rid of that. So I have that out already. And then I have my cabbage here. And you don't have to wash it because you're peeling the outer jacket. The next thing you want to do is your onion. So I'll cut your onion in half, cut off the ends. Try to do this so fast that you don't get any tears. And onions have the natural breaks in them anyway, so they, they break up on their own. My pan should be getting hot. It's probably time to throw these onions in. smoking yet. It's getting hot. And of course you can check the pan too. All you need is just a thermometer. So I have uh, 207 degrees and what's nice is is you can check the side on this. And it's the exact same temperature on the side that it is in the center and that's because this particular pan, this Gotham steel pan, has a stainless steel plate in the bottom of it and it evens the temperature out. So let's get our onions in here. Kind of drop them, that way they spread out a little bit. And then whenever you put onions in a pan like that, you want to salt them right away. You know, onions and potatoes get extra salt. And then we wait for a little bit for them to turn clear. Let's hurry up and get this cabbage in here. Just like that. And I'm supposed to put in a couple of tablespoons of brown sugar. So I just keep a little kid's fork in my brown sugar here. That way it's always in there when I need it. Don't have any little kids around anymore. Here's the bacon. I have the bacon grease in here already. You can cook this, oops, that one jumped out of the pan, didn't it? I'm not going, you can't bake me. Get back in that pan. Like when you make jambalaya, get back in that pan. Now you have to let this steam for about two minutes. Shake my lid like that a little bit. Get this here out of the way. Then I just have some 
red cherry bell peppers. This is the top. And you can just put them in like this. Cut them up as much as you want. I use scissors. I think it's easier than cutting them up with a knife when you're doing something this little. I do this with my cherry tomatoes too. Okay, this is all done. Let's get this turned off and out of this pan. You could also cut up that bacon if you want. Make it in smaller pieces. Some people would probably do that. I'm all set and ready to go on this. Serving dish. This is going to be one delicious side dish. If you could smell this, you would know what I mean. Everybody, please remember, question of the day, if you like bacon, hit the thumbs up button. Let's see how many people like bacon. Also, don't forget to subscribe, the recipe, and instructions. If you hit subscribe, hit the more button, you'll see the instructions. Also, if you want, you can go to my website, which is jamestdds.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching. Goodbye for now.